Welcome everybody, I'm Jake, this is Cobra Sport and today we're back for another episode of Exhaust Talk where we're going to be looking in a bit more detail at GPFs, OPFs, PPFs, whatever you want to call them so we can try and understand why they're killing the noise in our performance cars and what we can do to get that noise back. Let's get busy. So, what is it? Referred to as a GPF, an OPF or a PPF, unfortunately it won't protect your paintwork, this filter is installed to your exhaust system from factory to reduce the level of pollutants that your car produces. So, more emissions control, nothing new there then. But how does it work? Kind of similar to a catalytic converter in appearance, the GPF is comprised of a honeycomb structure in which exhaust gases must pass through to get out of the other side. What happens during that process? So whereas a catalytic converter will allow the exhaust gases to pass straight through the tunnels, the GPF system is chambered channels, which means the exhaust gases, as they're passing through, get trapped and the larger soot particles are then burnt off when the exhaust is at a high enough temperature to produce a regeneration. So, what issues does the GPF cause? Ultimately, the main restrictions with the GPF system are sound and performance. That's right, the main two things we love about performance cars are being reined in. And how does that affect the sound? So essentially, it's like trying to have a conversation and then putting a sponge in your mouth. You're not going to figure out, you just sound a little bit different. Unsurprisingly, the tone emitted from your mouth is slightly different and muffled, although your vocal cords are still trying to produce the same tone. This essentially works the same with an engine and a GPF filter. Your car's engine still wants to sing those glorious sporty tones, but as they're transferred through the GPF filter, it all gets a bit lost and comes out the other end sounding a little bit flat. And this is similar in terms of performance, whereas previously we might have installed a freer flowing downpipe in order to get the most flow for our exhaust gases on our cars. If we were to do this with the GPF still in place, we're freeing up a lot of flow and space at the top of the downpipe only for it to hit the bigger restriction that is the GPF a little bit further down. Which is a little bit counterintuitive and is certainly not going to help your back pressure situation. So, can we just remove the GPF? Technically yes, but is it legal? No. Although some manufacturers, such as ourselves, will produce GPF delete pipes, these are built purely for motorsport on off-road use. Fantastic for your race car and your track build, not so great for your daily driver that needs an MOT next week. The main thing we can advise is to keep it legal. There are now a lot of tuners that have invested a lot of time, money, in research and development to look at tuning solutions that keep the GPF in place. And this is something that we highly encourage. Two thumbs up. So the simple solution would be to remove all the other silencers after the GPF from the exhaust system to create as much sound as possible. This method does have varying levels of success, dependent on the engine. Small cars with little power, this sometimes works great. However, most performance cars with a decent engine do require some level of silencing just to balance the frequencies and extract the optimum tone on offer from the engine. In short, the development process may take a little longer to complete, but we guarantee we can provide audible solutions that will have you enjoying your vehicle every day and you not worrying about the legality of it. So what products do we have available? By understanding the characteristics of the GPF has enabled the Cobra Sport development team to produce a range of GPF back exhaust systems that are comparable in tone and performance to our previous cat back systems. For this 135, we have a number of options. GPF back systems with and without rear silencing, valves or non-valved options for those that want to change tone on the fly, and a range of tailpipes covering stainless steel, carbon fibre and even a quad setup for those that want to stand out a little bit. All of which can be found on our website with the company and sound videos so you can get a little bit of a feel for what sort of tone you want to produce. So let's take a look at what the Cobra Sport system looks like on this M135. As you can see, your GPF is still in place so your car's going to remain road legal and it will get through its MLT. So what we've done to create the extra sound is replace everything from the rear axle backwards. You've got a back box that's a lot more free flowing than the stock one. That's going to allow more exhaust gases to pass through, creating more sound and more performance. You've also 
got your optional valve control, which when active, is gonna let some of the exhaust gases pass straight through the pipework without being dampened off by the rear silencer at all. Now you can see what it looks like. Let's have a quick listen to what this M135i is sounding like with our system on. Now this 135 sounding a little bit more lively, we're going to take it out for a drive and see how those extra exhaust tones affect drivability and comfort. So the stock system on this 135 really doesn't do the car any justice whatsoever. We've got artificial pops and exhaust tones being pumped up through the speakers and it all just makes you feel a bit meh. And it's a little bit computer gamey which to me seems a bit dangerous when you're in a 300 brake horsepower performance car on public roads. However, to solve the Cobra Sport system, everything starts to feel a lot more real. On startup, the car produces a lovely little burble and a bassy tone that settles out nicely, something that's very livable with and just teases you every time you want to jump on the accelerator. There's no additional resonance, no vibrations. All you get is the added actual exhaust tones that put a massive smile on your face every time your right foot gets a bit heavy. So, that pretty much wraps up another episode of Exhaust Talk. I hope you now understand why it's important for manufacturers to put GPS on your vehicle and why it's really important that you leave them there. If you've got a car that's GPF equipped and needs a little bit more audible emotion, get in touch and we'll see how we can help out. And as always, if you've got a topic that you want discussing on a future episode of Exhaust Talk, leave a comment, we'll try and get round to it for next time. Until then, thanks for tuning in.